Good morning, sir. Oh, fine morning. And my fine lady? Fine, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, anything we can do for you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, please. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we are looking for a coffin. Uh, what type of coffin? Uh, for grassroots, very privileged, uh, ordinary privilege, super privilege, or mega privilege. Oh, I could see you need explanation, right? <laughs> now, grassroots are Zenu, uh, Bwachi, and Baba. Ordinary privilege are top civil servants. Super privilege are parliamentarians and business executives. And mega privilege are drug barons and armed robbers. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I find it difficult where to place our dead relative. He was a top official in the ministries. Oh. But he died a grassroots death. Retirement in its all out viciousness uh, uh, struck him to the grass, isn't it? Then it is grassroots coffin you are looking for. He doesn't want that. Huh? You are saying he said this uh, after his death, are you? He told his wife. You know those latest fancy coffins? Oh, yes. Those coffins show the occupation of the dead people, of their social status, you know. Uh, they enjoyed him. Uh, you said he was a civil servant, right? Yes. And a uh, uh, civil servant. Civil servant. And what are we looking for? A desk? A filing cabinet, in and out trays. It's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle, yeah. what about the car? He had the car, didn't he? Hey, was it a Mercedes Benz? <laughs> <laughs> now, if we are talking about Dodge, Old mobile, Vauxhall, uh, Pontiac, and all that. They sound Greek to my son who is going to put it together. <laughs> you know? He once worked at a passport office. What about a passport? Fantastic! Your relative is going to be buried with the national emblem at the back of his coffin. You know? Yes, a passport. That's it. How much would that take to build? Oh, it, it depends. It depends. <laughs> Excuse my handling hand, eh? A mild form of Parkinson's disease. <laughs> You won't believe it. My relative died from that. My daddy has had it for over five years now. Uh, I feel it every week. Uh, and uh, I'm getting used to it. I'm sure immunity is taking over. <laughs> we should be going. You hold that money. Let's do the addiction and subtraction later. Uh, uh -huh. It could be ready by tomorrow, couldn't it? Uh, um, we pray. I didn't tell you. We went to a place where they do this sort of thing. Unlike you, they couldn't imagine the form the coffee would take. <laughs> Look, even that of a civil servant who died in active service isn't an easy task to think about, let alone uh, a retired civil servant who uh, has continued to stick around unnecessarily. What time tomorrow? Um, sir, lunchtime. Thank you, bye. Yeah, bye, bye. It's a great pleasure. Huh?
<laughs> Don't you believe, Daddy? We have a problem. Positive thinking, Kobe. Positive thinking. Any wavering will let in the devil. Huh? Daddy, you know we can't touch this money. I beg your pardon? Yes, definitely we can't. Daddy, you know the kind of people that do this coffin are artists. Yes, I don't know. But uh, it makes sense to me. But, Kobe, don't spoil my joy. Hmm? Don't spoil my joy with more sins. I know, oh. Daddy, I know, Daddy. But you see, what's worse since the case is the passport form. You know passport is very flat. How can you put a dead body in, in, in a passport form kind of coffee? I mean, no matter how wide we make it, it will still wouldn't fit. Look, we are talking about an open passport. And the corpse will be on the open side. Uh, how about that, son? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, show your powers. Please do. For your children can't afford to let this money in our hand go. Amen. Um, Daddy, can I can I have hundred Ghana CDs? <laughs> That's my lad. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's my lad. Boy, let's take the risk, huh? If we can't deliver, we are going to make history. Hmm? 